When we take our arithmetic interpreter with parser and start adding definitions, uh, it looks like this. Our expression type now has IDE and API, just like on the slides. We have this new type, fundef. Um, let's jump down to the test cases for parse, which are mostly the same, but we have a couple of new ones. We have parse of the identifier x uh, should produce an IDE x. And the way that happens is that um, symbols uh, are kind of like integers. You know, the identifier just sitting by itself, there's nothing else to match on. So we have to uh, use the predicate syntax is symbol to recognize those, and then to symbol to turn the quote x quote, something like this, into a symbol, just like this, hash quote x, and put that into an IDE. So we do that right here. Meanwhile, uh, another test case that we have is the function call case, double of nine. We're returning that into an appy. So we need to recognize this pattern, some, some name, and parentheses, and some argument expression. So that is right here in our parser. We match uh, some symbol for the function name, and then some argument expression. We parse the argument expression. We convert the symbol just with syntax to symbol. The placement of this case is after plus and times because function calls bind even more tightly than multiplication. Uh, but I put them in front of parentheses because I'm just always going to leave parentheses to the end. In addition to, uh, to parse on expressions, we also have a parse fundef function because we need to uh, parse definitions as well. So I'm just looking at the test cases. Uh, they're right here. Um, this is a definition of a function double with an argument x and a body x plus x. So that's what we see as the result of parsing. We need a fd double x and that plus the expression for the body. Of course, to parse the body expression, we're going to use our existing parse function, right? That will take the x plus x and turn it into this plus e, ide x, ide x. But we have to do more work to, to make the fd, and that's a parse fund f's job. So it matches the syntax by looking for a function, and then an escape for some name, and then an escape for some argument, and always a colon, and then an escape for some body. That body, again, is an expression, so we can just parse it, whereas the name and the argument name, those are just symbols. So we use syntax to symbol to get those out. And then if, uh, if neither of those, if this pattern doesn't match, we also give an error. So those are those error cases. And um, finally, at the end here, because we're going to write some examples and it's useful to have already parsed function definitions, I'm going to define double def and quadruple def just to be the result of parse fun def. So these are not tests in themselves, but I put them in the test module, which means I will only be able to refer to these names and other tests that we'll write later for the uh, interpreter and other parts.